All right, guys, welcome to a shoe haul and try on. This is not even everything. Uh, if I can think of other ones that I've like tried on that I would recommend to you, I'll link those down below. But we're gonna just, this doesn't need an intro. I'm gonna show you the shoe, I'm gonna wear the shoe. I'm gonna show you the shoe, I'm gonna wear the shoe, okay? And before we launch into like everything, just to let you know, these shoes are from Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, Saks Off Fifth, and DSW. I always do coupons. We always do when there's like a promotion or things are on sale. For Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack, I had like a lot of gift cards. I had like $300 in gift cards that I just kept like using and reusing. Um, so if you're like, oh my God, you spent a lot on shoes. Yeah, I did. Uh, but I'm not keeping all of them, obviously. And throughout the video, you'll see like obviously which ones I was like, yes, and which ones was more of like a no. Um, also when DSW does their like promotion, there's it's like, I don't know, like 20, 30, whatever, 60, 60 off a $199 purchase. You can get like four or five pairs of shoes for around 200, which is awesome. So I will again, link everything below, but I haven't figured out how I'm going to link it yet. Okay. So the first one is this shoe from Jeffrey Campbell. It has a Fendi first vibe, right? But I didn't know that when I purchased it. I just thought it was a really cool shoe. And then I was like, this also kind of feels like it's there's like an inspo for it. So yeah, it does kind of look like the Fendi First. The Fendi First has a little F. So they have a little extra piece here. But this one is still really beautiful. This is one of those shoes where you don't really notice it. But then when you do notice it, it's amazing. Because this mirror finish, when it catches the light, looks so good. This whole thing is a mirror finish. Like full metal, not like plastic. Okay, so this is not what I would wear with all of the shoes, but uh, the dress was the easiest thing to showcase this shoe. So you can see the movement, but you can also see the shoe. So when it's on, like look at it, when it catches the light, it's so cute. Just imagine you're walking and then you catch that light, like amazing. They're really comfortable. I will have to preface this whole video with, I have a very high arch. I'm a true size six. I'm a normal to maybe mildly narrow size six so whenever i'm told to size up in something or if reviews suggest sizing up i don't really size up but for this one i've broken this one in so it is a six but i would have preferred a six and a half you can see my heel hits like right at the edge of the shoe a six and a half would have given me just like a slight bit more room this next shoe is from bp it has the acrylic heel it has the clear band here but then it goes black you can get this in a nude I think there was some colors, I'm not sure. I'm just telling you that this shoe is so incredibly comfortable. This band keeps you in, you have a decent height. The only thing I'll say is that I think this, this is heavy. It's heavier than what I would prefer, but because of the comfort level of it, I'm gonna let it go. So this shoe has a slightly like tapered square toe, which we like, it's elegant. You barely see the strap on this one. This is a true size six on me, and I think it looks it fits really well, it looks really good. And it's such an incredibly comfortable shoe. I actually think I would have preferred the nude, but the issue with nude shoes is you never know if the nude is gonna like clash with your skin tone. All right guys, the next shoe you've seen already it was in my Walmart video. It is a very perfectly weighted wedge, clear band, beautiful for my arches. I have high arches like this, <sighs> love. We don't have to give this shoe too much screen time because you already saw it if you watch the Walmart video, but it is so comfortable. It goes with absolutely everything. And again, one of those there but not really there shoes. You don't really notice it, but it gives you good height. You're really comfortable with this height because you're supported. The straps keep you in. Yeah, I got that. Okay, so next is a pair of shoes that I love. And because I love this pair so much, I want to try out a whole bunch of other things that are similar to it. Now, these are from Sorrel. I love Sorrel. So I need like a comfy shoe and I love kind of the jaggedness of this and it looks so good. I get compliments, which I'm actually surprised by because I don't. Okay, when I'm out and about without fail, someone will be like, oh, I love your hair uh, or they'll be like, oh, your skin is really pretty or your makeup's really pretty. No one is ever like, oh, my God, you smell good or oh, my God, I love your shoes. But shoes, especially guys will notice these shoes and I'm like, Okay, yes, cute, cute, right? Okay, so I actually wear them with these pants a lot, but like, look how cute they are. Like you don't see them, but when you do see them, the level of comfort here, y'all, super high. However, it is comfortable, but I can only wear the shoe for about half a day, maybe like, and if I am standing and walking the whole time, probably like three or four hours before I kind of feel like the pain. So to give you some background, I have bad kneecaps and I have high arches. So when a shoe starts hurting, uh, then, you know, 
my foot will hurt, my knee will hurt, which therefore leads to my back also hurting. So a bad shoe, just if you are familiar with having these kind of issues, you know. These are pretty great. If I'm kind of sitting, standing, walking a little bit, I could wear them all day. But if this was an all day, like let's walk around the city type shoe, no, it doesn't work for me. But I still really like it. I love that it's kind of black and it has a little pop of red at the back. Okay, so piggybacking off of that, I decided to try this shoe from Sorrel. It's this green. I'm going to show you it on. It's really cute, but comfort-wise, we'll talk about it. Okay, so I got them for the color. They are decently comfortable, but they're kind of flatter. They're much, not much, but a little flatter than the other one I showed you. So it being flatter forces my foot into a position I don't really like. When you have a high arch and a shoe forces your foot flat, it is incredibly painful because imagine, okay, you can kind of see my arch. If I like really force my arch up so you can see it. If you have a high arch and you're being forced into a flat shoe, it kind of, you do this thing. So it forces your foot flat and then you end up kind of walking inwards because there's like, it's not balanced because it's making your foot go flat and it's horrible for your alignment, your knee, your back. So even though this one is an incredibly comfort upon like first insertion, I don't know what we're talking about. Is that the right word? Um, this one's also bulkier than the one I just showed you. It has, like, it has like, you see at the outline of the white where you don't see it for the other one. I'm not saying the shoe is bad. I'm just saying if you have like, no arch or like a slight arch you'll still like these i just prefer these like they're a little sleeker you can tell like this one's just sleeker and this one does come in other colors it does come in a color similar to like this kind of story so do i look into that maybe i did get like a green like bright green purse for summer all right so in the same vein we have this shoe from naturalizer uh this is actually quite comfortable but again it's a little flatter than my preference and i also feel like i don't necessarily enjoy this like toe area for me and this is like a different this is very iffy for a lot of people so it'll vary but it has like a decent like arch support situation this one is from franco sardo i love the way this one looks i love when a strap just crosses over it looks so sleek on the foot i'm going to show you guys these on okay so here's the naturalizer one on i where the toe thing is, it's not comfortable for me, so I wouldn't want to do that. This also does force my foot into a pretty flat position, but you can see, like, it's a fairly sleek shoe for, like, one of these kind of, like, comfortable type shoes. So I would recommend this to you if you don't have a high arch, because I, I think I really like it. And I think also because of my arch, it pushes my foot forward, so that, like, that toe thing also, I think that's a product of the high arch. This one, I love the way this looks because I just love that kind of crisscross. This has like a higher heel. I'm debating this one. Like it is really comfortable and I love the way it looks, but I'm just like, I don't like that toe. You know, like when, like, like that thing, like the toe, the toe thing. I have to like test this out, but I don't know how to test it out without wearing it out. I guess I could wear it around my house, but you know, that still shows wear and I would want to be able to return it in like a pristine way, but yeah, this one's an iffy. Okay, so next up, I want to talk Vionic. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this shoe I've already worn, like full on. So it kind of looks like an orthopedic shoe, but when you put it on, it's so nice, it's so comfortable. I love the all black. I wish there was more of this kind of patent vibe. So it's patent, and then it has like a little thing here, which I also wish wasn't there, but beggars can't be choosers. Do you guys see? Y'all see this arch support? It's so interesting because it forces my foot in like a different position than a normal shoe but it makes it so that i can wear it so much longer i haven't tested it out like a full day of being out but i've tested it where i've been like on my feet for a while i've gone to the store shopping i've gone to the grocery i've gone to like i've done various things with it and i really like it now they're kind of pricey bionic but i think it's worth it if you struggle with finding a shoe that you can wear all day or on vacation where you're up and about a lot so that's what it looks like on you know like a normal shoe and like i showed you it kind of looks like it would be orthopedic but when you put it on it looks like a decent like just like flat you know flip flop slide thing but there's just so much comfort so much comfort the level of support here is immense and i am here for it I do that does it look like you can get an idea what both sides would look like i'm a magician okay so also from vionic is this shoe it's called the yasmine and i thought it would just be like the shoe of my dreams it's got, got a suede vibe it has a heel i honestly just think 
<clears throat> I just think the heel is probably just not tall enough, but let me show you. Okay, so my issue here with these shoes is with pants, it's like kind of whatever. If I were to wear it with like a dress or a shorter pant, I just don't think it's tall enough. I mean, it actually looks really cute when I'm looking at it right now, but do you guys see kind of how like, for me, it's almost like it's tall, but it's not really that tall. It actually looks really good on camera right now. Uh, and so comfortable. You kind of have that like squared, but like tapered toe. Very comfortable, very, very comfortable. So I would highly recommend this shoe to you. I just don't know, like if everyone's just looking at the shoe like this on me all the time, that'd be fine. I feel like it's when I go this way, I feel like it just, I just want, I want more height guys. Do you guys like how like pale I am? <laughs> um, yeah, this one, I, oh, I just don't know. Again, and Vionic, a little pricey. These were quite expensive. I had like Nordstrom notes, um, but you know, oh, actually I had a gift card. So if these were like an inch taller, I feel like I would like them more, but I also feel like most people who are looking for a comfortable, like going out or dressy shoe would already just like this. It also comes in like a nude shade. So Vionic is like a comfort shoe brand. I don't know how, if I want to go as far as calling it orthopedic, but it's definitely, they try to do stylish shoes that are comfortable. So when you're looking at their offerings, like the ones I picked are probably a little more sleek, but there's also ones that are like more, that look more comfortable. You know what I mean? Okay, so now we're gonna go a little more metallic. So this shoe is Jessica Simpson. It's the Aria, Aria. I got this in a six. I always look at the six and everything. I loved this kind of like, what do you call this? Not crushed. Um, oh my God, what is the word? Like hammered, crinkled, kind of foiled, metallic. I love this kind of finish. I just love it. And then you have all of these straps to keep you in. And I couldn't really tell. The reviews for this were excellent as far as comfort goes. But let me see on. All right, guys, comfort level, amazing. If you wanna wear a heel or a wedge and you wanna be strapped in, this is the one. This is the one for you. Am I gonna keep these? Probably not, only because I have a different gold shoe that I think I prefer. So if I were to pick one, I would pick that one. But guys, so comfortable, so comfortable and the only thing is, I will say, there's all those little, little straps. You can slide your foot in about, I actually, I can slide my foot all the way in, but you do need to adjust all the straps so that they like hug your foot. Oh, so comfortable, guys. You have a square toe. You have like a million straps. You have a really beautiful wedge. Like, highly recommend. Highly recommend. Next up is two of the same shoe. It's from mix number six, which I believe is the DSW brand. You have that kind of foiled, crackled, gold on here and then it's gold on gold on gold i also picked up the black patent version and online i was like okay are these gonna look like really cheap because i couldn't really tell i'm they look so good on and they're so comfortable and i will show you all right so here's the black one again comfort level is really nice here the the shoe itself is not heavy um but i will say it feels a little tough like right at the heel area like it's not a soft it's like not cushioned is what i'm saying um the toe bed is comfortable because you have that square and of course the straps keep you in so I, there's i don't feel any like digging into it and that's the gold one i think the gold one is so good i mean so good and the gold this gold goes really beautiful with like my skin tone i'm not against the black one i'm trying to decide if i want to keep them both or not the gold one is speaking to me more although the black one could be useful the next shoe is so amazing i just i'll talk to you about the caveats though look at this shoe it's from jeffrey campbell it is show-stopping like beautiful I will say that when I got it, I was a little, it's a little sus because I feel like the bands are really dirty. I feel like it's been worn a little bit before. And one, this side of my shoe, I think, yeah, the right side, the toe is a little tighter than the other side, but I'll show you it on. It's so cute. Okay, so a common thing with Jeffrey Campbell shoes is that you'll have to size up at least a half the size. Uh, again, I, I don't need to do that here, but look how cute, guys. Like, how cute is this shoe? I love it. Okay, so this side is beautiful and fits comfortably. This side, I don't know if it's the shoe or if it's me, but like my toe, my 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 baby toe is like not quite in. 
it's like in but not really but i tell you guys this shoe is so comfortable i could walk in it it doesn't do anything weird the weight is really good i just i don't know about the other i don't know if i can break in the other side to match because usually i haven't had this problem where like my one toe just feels weird my right foot is like ever so slightly bigger so i always feel a little tighter in shoes but like i i ugh. I don't know guys i just i really really love the aether so good okay y'all i'm getting so sweaty from filming this video <laughs> the next shoe is this dolce vita really beautiful metallic this comes in so many shades i think it was like 27 when i grabbed it all right guys so this shoe comfort level high it has it looks like it has a skinny heel but it in fact is like a square like a rectangular shape so it's quite comfortable we also just love metallics, right Sumi? Yeah, hi sweetheart, yeah, hi. <laughs> okay, so the price was obviously really great. It might've gone up a little bit, but when I grabbed it, it was like 26 or 27 from Nordstrom Rack. And they have a soft gold, they have black. I think there was like, there's just other shades, pink, green, etc. Uh, I do really like, it is like a snakeskin metallic, but I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna reach for a silver shoe, would I just grab the Jeffrey Campbell one that I already have? Or do I go for this? It's like simpler. I do really like it. And for the price, it's like a possible keep, you know? Okay, next is these Vince Camuto mules. Now, I always thought I wasn't a mule girl, but we will find out because I, I really, it could go either way. Okay, so right off the bat, comfort level is really high. These are extremely, extremely square toed. Like, look at those squares. Extremely comfortable. I just don't know if I like fully enjoy this silhouette. I think I just always prefer something more tapered and narrow because I feel like this doesn't do favors for like your legs. They're just like pretty comfortable. So, I mean, I don't dislike them. I in fact quite like them, but I feel like I wouldn't reach for them a lot. But they're like, they're good. I would recommend them to you. Um, again, because there's like no strap in the back. I feel like another reason I've strayed away from mules a lot is because I feel like when I'm walking, I'll just like, there's too much shifting in the shoe. So I love being strapped in. Editing me, I forgot to share this shoe. I can't believe it. I love this shoe. It's from Charles David. Got it off of TJ Maxx. It is stunning. At first I wasn't sure because it looked a little like iffy online, but in person, oh my God, the love is intense. I also changed my lip color because I'm testing something out that I don't really like and uh, I think I got all of that eyeshadow that was on my face for most of the video off. Look at this shoe. It is amazing. I love an oval toe. It's my favorite shape. Big ass straps, block heel, studded, mirrored perfection. I mean, I wanna wear these shoes all the time everywhere. I hula hooped in these shoes. It's like one of my favorite workouts. We try to hula hoop for like half hour a day, maybe twice a day, but like, oh, love. They're high, but they're comfortable. It's probably one of my favorite shoes in the whole mix and I can't believe I left it out. I guess because I had kept it and like, I got the shoe at least like two months ago. So I kind of forgot about it. Um, so it wasn't with like the other boxes, but I'm telling you, it's really, really good. We love it. Okay, the last two in the mix are two yellow shoes. This one is a Kenneth Cole. We have snakeskin, we have snakeskin heel. The whole thing is really beautiful. Uh, it's definitely kind of like a more like medium yellow, yellowy, just a slight hint of green in it, very slight. And then next is this yellow shoe from Adrian Vitadini. I love this shoe. It looks so beautiful on, but there's a caveat. So you have studs, but then you have clear straps with them, which makes it really beautiful. And then this one is just like a normal, you know, yellow leather with the studs. But we'll show you both. We as in me and my feet. Okay, I'm going to show you this one first. This one is like, okay, it kind of hurts my big toe. So I feel like that's not something I would enjoy, but I like the way the shoe looks for sure. I kind of wish everything that's on the bottom, all that black was less black and then the shoe would seem a little more seamless, like more of the snake skin. 
less of the black but the shoe is stunning right do we agree i think it's like so nice okay let me show you guys this one i love the way this looks from the front i mean it's beautiful now my issue is the side do you see this if i'm walking my foot my foot is gone I've tried both sides on. I've tried to rearrange the straps. I've just, it's nothing works. So I don't really know what the issue is. Like if I, if it requires like a, a strap here or something, you know, but my foot pops in not a good way. So it's difficult for me to walk in this shoe without looking ridiculous. Uh, but the shoe itself is so good guys. It's disappointing. I would keep this if, if my foot stayed in because it like it's decently comfortable. Um, I wouldn't go like shopping in this, but you know, for like an evening out. Like, like I'm so in love with this. This is such a beautiful shoe. All right, guys, thank you if you've made it through. I don't know how long this video is. I just know in filming this, it's felt like an hour or more, just like showing you the shoe and then taking the camera off like the tripod and etc. But these shoes were bought from a lot of different places and a lot of the same places that I shot from also will sell the same shoe. I will link as many as I can as far as retailers go. Cause just because I bought it from Nordstrom doesn't mean, you know, maybe it sold at DSW and it's cheaper there, or you have store credit there, or you have like good, like, you know, membership there. It's so difficult figuring out how to link things sometimes because, okay, if I bought something at Ulta, but you have store credit at Sephora, then, you know, you know what I mean? Like you have to think about where you're going to purchase it from. Okay. So thank you for watching. Everything will be linked below. Let me know what kind of shoes you like as far as you know, comfortable shoes. Like if you are like me and you have a high arch, bad kneecaps, like they've dislocated, like I've had many, many surgeries there. And then because of that, I also have, it affects my back, my lower back. I also have mild scoliosis. So you just imagine, I just don't even like standing for a long time. Standing like at, like innately, innate, innately. That's not the word. What does it mean to be at rest? I forgot the word, but like if I, I would rather almost be walking the whole day and being in pain rather than standing in a line and being in pain because standing and not moving creates so much more discomfort and pain. Anyway, okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun with this. Let me know if you guys want more like try on videos because this was so much fun. I really want to do a sunglasses one is what I really want to do. And I feel like that one will be more relaxing and easier for me. Yeah.